Welcome to RV Quick Tips. Quick Tips. Hey guys, this is Barrett with the Gimpy Camper. Today I want to talk about upgrading your tire stands and your tires of your camper or your fifth wheel. So, a little while ago we did a review on our tire minder system. If you'll remember in that, that I did say that tire minder recommended upgrading to metal valve stems. Now the metal valve stem that I have, that I bought it from Amazon, I took to several different tire shops they said that it would not work due to the contour of the wheel on my camper. So I kind of gave up on that and I figured in order to do that, I would eventually have to buy some new wheels, which I really wasn't looking forward to either, but I really wanted a metal valve stem. Now, after talking to TireMinder recently, they did suggest the Colby Ultimate valve stems. And so I put these on last week. I actually have three out of four of them on. And I'm going to do a better recording of that installation process for you here now that I know a little bit about what I'm doing because I recorded the first one, which I messed up, which is why I only have three installed out of the four. Wah. And so I'm going to save you the mistakes Wah. that I made. Wah. There is also an Amazon link for these products in the uh, description down there. I had to go to it to order my, my extra set. These do come in a pack of two. So for a tandem axle trailer, you will need two packs. So basically the last time I tried to film this, it turned into a big mess. I might show some of those clips here, but a lot of the people that I watched put these in, basically they would get some pliers, pull out the rubber valve stem, air will be going everywhere. And you try to shove this thing in there and tighten it down real quick. So all the air doesn't leave your tire. Well, mine didn't fit that well because there's not a lot of space around that contour. And I messed the one up just because I started tightening it and it wasn't all the way in. So whenever you're putting these in, be sure you're adding a lot of inward pressure while you're tightening the nut on those. So you don't run into the same problem I have and spend an extra 30 bucks just for fun. If you let all the air out of the tire first, these are pretty easy to put in, even though like in the case of my wheel, I didn't have very much clearance. It's only the socket basically was able to fit in the little hole where the valve stem is. And I have to say, like when I first saw these, I was like, I don't know about that. They just don't seem to be too strong in the way that they sandwich together on there. I did watch one video where the guy was putting one on a uh, four wheeler tire and it had the tire off to show the process. I gained a little bit of confidence there. I thought, well, if tire miners recommended it, they hadn't steered me wrong yet. So we'll try these. And I was really impressed after I got these on about how strong they were. The one thing that you have to keep in mind is when you tighten them down, you don't want to tighten them too tight because you don't want to mess up that rubber washer that's holding the air pressure. You want to tighten it down where it starts to get tight. It's really a delicate balance there because some of mine, they just didn't feel tight at all. So I gave it an extra turn or two. And then you could kind of see that washer maybe starting to squish a little more than what I wanted it to but it ended up working out great. So here's my step-by-step -step directions on how to put these tire stems in. Number one, you wanna use a rag to keep from scratching your wheel. Take a pair of pliers and just put it on the valve stem and just put it against that rag that you have there and just add enough pressure, kind of angling it out where that valve stem comes off. I'm gonna tell you that when you pull a valve stem out of a tire, I've never did it before but it's one of those manly things that just makes you want to grunt or something. You know what I'm talking about. Step two, if you're following my method, you let all the air out of that tire because you don't want to waste another $30 like I did. So let all the air out of that tire completely and then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to take the valve stem and insert it into the wheel as far as you can, holding pressure on it. While you're keeping firm inward pressure, take you a deep socket. I'm gonna put the size right here because I can't remember, but take you a deep socket and then start tightening that nut down. But the whole time you're doing this, I want you to be pushing toward the wheel a little bit to make sure it stays good and firmly seated. You just wanna tighten it down, like I said before, where it just starts to feel tight. You just want it to be pretty snug. You don't want to tighten it with all your might because that's just going to break that rubber seal on there. Then you're at the last step, air the tire back up. Just put the amount of air in there that you run in your tires. It's going to take a little while if it's a uh, 
80 pound PSI tire or higher. So I had to let my air compressor fill up two or three times, but it was way easier than trying to fight all that outcoming air when I didn't let all the air out first. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this product. It seems to be very strong, very durable. And whenever you like put any lateral pressure on there, you know that rubber valve stem just blah, 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 blah. These don't do that. These are very firm, very strong. And I have a lot of confidence in them. And I'll let you know how they do in the long run. But for now, I'm very impressed. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks and DIY projects, campground reviews, all that stuff that we do. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.